Hello YouTube, this is Ambi. Uh, today we will talk about another Python topic. Uh, it is more going to be uh, based on object-oriented programming. So what I will say is Python 3.6. Uh, that's what we have. OOP regular class and static method. So we are going to discuss briefly about what are the different types of methods. I'm not going to go uh, too much. Um, I'm not going to elaborate too much. Uh, because that will take out the suspense out of it and you may not be able to enjoy while you are exploring it and when you're exploring it if you're not feeling the pain uh, you know if you're finding it too easy then definitely you will feel that it's kind of boring or you will might lose interest in it so I'm going to create a class here we have already uh, done this um, class superhero uh, I'm gonna I'm setting here uh, variable uh, it's a class variable and I'm defining an init function Init function is to initialize so it's also called constructor it initializes the class so self name our origin so these are so if I am defining some uh, variables here that means they should be passed into it uh, when I'm using class these uh, three steps have to be passed on uh, to this class or if you want to use anything inside it so anyway uh, when i'm passing these in right so let me go ahead and do the self dot name equals name self dot power equals power well if you are if you have not watched my other uh, videos which talk about like you know basic stuff uh then please go ahead and watch them first and then come to this right so self dot Power and then self dot origin equals origin right then so whenever I uh, access anything from this class uh, these three things will be run and be ready all the time so I don't have to you know reprocess these variables these variables are processed by default right uh, when I run the class or any method from that class so then I'm gonna say regular method uh, just to keep it simple regular method uh, why is this a regular method I'll tell you why you'll notice why so this is I'm gonna say name mm, right this then this superpower is this and I'm gonna say comics right this I will say dot format self dot name self dot power self dot origin self dot publications right let's see what happens now shift enter right okay i'm gonna say control okay i have to access it anyway so i will say now hero one equals superhero uh superman i will say flight i will say krypton right and then i will say hero what did I do? And enter hero one dot regular. So I am I have passed this information to this class now, right? And I am calling this method here, right? So hero uh, equals this information to the class, and then hero one dot regular method, right? I'm gonna do this. I'll say shift enter. What happens? Superhero is not defined. Okay, so there's a spelling mistake. All right. What does it say now? Uh, hero one name superhero is not defined again. Okay, so I have to run this, then run this. Hero one dot regular method. What does it say? Superhero object has no attribute regular. Okay, it says uh, the attribute is not there, so, right. 
Okay, so that's spelling mistake. I'm really sorry. I'm typing it inside a virtual machine and it's uh, 1 a.m. <laughs> at night, or you can say in the morning. So I'm kind of uh, sleazy here. So now you got uh, it ran this method. So why is it a regular method or an instance method, right? Because this method takes self and uses self, or it processes self. So anything that uses self in a class is a regular method. Now, what is um, the next type of method? Then we will say class method. So what is a class method? Regular method takes self as an argument, right? And uh, these are called attributes, by the way. So if I haven't already covered that, these are attributes. And these are, uh, I can say variables. Uh, these are variables. Uh, here it takes uh, self as an argument and a class method takes, uh, let's say, define change pub, right? That was a CLS or class, CLS stands for class here, some variable. Uh, uh, just like a regular method always takes self as an argument. A uh, class method takes the class itself as an argument, but class, the word class is already taken. So uh, automatically we switch for CLS. Okay. The change pub, I will say CLS.publications equals some uh, variable. Okay, I will make it B some variable, right? So, um, now how do I test it? Okay, I'm gonna do hero two now. Hero two equals superhero Batman. His superpower is rich and he is from Earth, right? Now I will do hero two dot regular uh, method okay I want to say regular method okay let me see what happens okay it's printing out stuff that's all right but we want to test uh, the publications right so what if we put type in publications here or try to access publications mm, let's see what happens Comics shouldn't be earth here. Comics should be self dot publications. Okay, name, power, origin. Okay, I missed one more thing here. My bad. Superpower. Uh, right name, superpower. I will say origin. And that would be this. Okay, and let me run this shift, shift. Okay, so now we are getting four stuff, right? Here I have um, set the variable, okay, whatever, let's say change pub. I can change the publications now. What I will do here is zero two dot change pub. Mm, what I will do is I will say Marvel and Shift enter and then I will do hero to dot regular method. Okay. Now comics is Marvel now. What if I do hero one dot regular method? Okay, so it changes the um, behavior of the class itself. That is why it's called a class method. It is an instance method because it changes the behavior of an instance. This is an instance and uh, that is why our, it's also called a regular method. Now what the hell is a static method? So I'm gonna control A, paste this here, right? I will say at Static method. Define gang, and I'll say. Hey, I think we didn't type here. 
accessing and using class TLS using our processing however you want to name it right so then we have gang and that is return all these heroes of our justice right so now what happens the enter and i will say superhero uh hero dot gang all these superheroes are for justice now this is a static method this doesn't take self this doesn't take class this doesn't take anything but it just makes sense for this particular method to be part of superhero because it talks about superheroes and it is printing out all the superheroes are ah, it's just uh, talking about the stuff that is in the class it just makes sense for this class uh, i'm sorry this method to be in this class that is why it's called a static method so that is uh, an instance method or a regular method a class method a static method uh, a regular or instance method uh, manages the behavior of an instance and it takes self and processes self a class method uh, manages the behavior of a class and it takes class as a variable static method doesn't take anything as a variable and it doesn't alter the behavior of any instance but it just makes sense for it to be there so thank you for tuning in you have a great one you take care